Hey guys, it's Codename Zombie here, bringing you back another video. This is actually going to be my first video where I'm going to dip my toes into the commentary field of YouTube. Honestly, I've never done a commentary video. So this is honestly just going to be raw. But yeah, guys, um, not too long ago, I bought Kane and Lynch Dead Men, a game produced by Eidos Entertainment back in 2007. Uh, you know, the game was critically reviewed as like a shitty game or whatever. Uh, it was so bad, right? That one guy actually lost his job. Um, I think he was a GameSpot reviewer, right? This guy just straight up lost his job because he gave <laughs> he gave Kane and Lynch Dead Men a 60 out of 100, right? And because Eidos Entertainment was uh, paying GameSpot to advertise Kane and Lynch Dead Men, right? This guy straight up got fired for voicing a different opinion, bro. And honestly, I think the guy went on to uh, spark his own game review website, right? But that was just fucking crazy that, you know, back in 2007, this guy lost his job over a fucking game review, man. Video game journalism, am I right, guys? But yeah, not too long ago, I bought Kane and Lynch Dead Men, and I also bought another game off of GOG because it recently just got delisted, but that was Spec Ops The Line, man. And honestly, I'm I'm just fucking surprised that um, the game got delisted, or at least it got announced that it was going to be delisted, but when the announcement came that it was going to get delisted, it was straight up just pulled from every store, man. It just became immediately unavailable i mean luckily i still have a copy on my xbox and with pc you know you got the steam cd keys and you just got cd keys in general and you also got the gog website that sells these games so luckily i could grab a copy but speaking of gog games right when i bought these games for gog i noticed that they were both missing the co-op and multiplayer not so much the co-op for Kane and Lynch because the co-op is already an integrated uh, piece of the game, right? It's local co-op, it's not online. But the online multiplayer for Kane and Lynch was just not there. Literally, you would go on the main menu screen and it would just say campaign, co-op, but no multiplayer. And then for Spec Ops The Line, you would see the co-op and multiplayer uh, on the main menu, you would see the title there. But you couldn't click on it it was just faded so literally you would only uh press either options or play campaigns so yeah that's just fucking crazy though man so gog sell these games right these older games kane and lynch and spec ops without their multiplayer co-op basically and it's just fucking weird to me right but i think the reason for that is because these two games and older games in general right they used to run off of something called Games for Windows Live. I know because, you know, PC is like made by Microsoft or whatever bullshit like that, you know. They wanted to do their own little Xbox spin on the PC games. So they started Games for Windows Live. I mean, hell, I'm pretty sure when you would log into your Microsoft account on Games for Windows Live, you would literally have your old Xbox 360 profile picture. So yeah, pretty much it was basically, you know, xbox on pc essentially so yeah with this in mind the multiplayer modes were taken out of these games and you know it's kind of frustrating because when you go to buy a game you expect you know everything to be in there right you ex expect the complete package i mean that's why everyone's pissed nowadays with modern video games coming out because they're incomplete and shit right but you know me buying Kane and Lynch Dead Men, I was expecting to play the multiplayer, and I was expecting the same thing with Spec Ops, but nah, I guess just that wasn't the case here. But yeah, for some reason, GOG has their own installer and their own UI or whatever, right? And honestly, man, the, the, the fucking, the own GOG UI installer is kind of shit. It has a really shitty interface, and honestly, it looks like something that some fucking Facebook people would be using that. Like, I prefer Steam and shit or Epic, you know, that's like all chill. But just GOG reminds me of fucking Facebook for some reason. I guess it's because, like, I don't know, it's an older, like, you know, gaming retail website. I mean, a buddy of mine told me to buy Diablo off there one time. So, I guess it's, well, Diablo 1. 
But yeah, I guess it's just that fucking old, but um Yeah, bro, just <laughs> I don't really like GOG, man. At least on Humble Bundle, you can buy Well, they removed it, but you could buy Spec Ops the line and get like a Steam CD key off of Humble Humble Bundle. And that's actually what I like about Humble Bundle is that you buy a game off their website and you get a CD key that you activate on Steam. Because you know, most people use Steam or Epic, right? I don't really know many people that use GOG, not unless you're gonna like, you know, buy a game for dirt cheap or fucking in my case, you know, buy a game that's kind of niche like Kane and Lynch or Spec Ops The Line. And you want it cheap, so yeah, you buy off of GOG. But um, again, I just don't like that these games are missing their multiplayer and their fucking co-op, you know? Because those those modes were still, you know, a part of the game. They still gave an experience. They were still an integral part of the game. And to have them removed is kind of honestly bullshit. I mean, I understand, you know, games with Windows Live, maybe that... Must have made some issues, but how come the Steam versions of these games still have the multiplayer and all the fucking modes intact, man? You know what I'm saying? It's like GOG themselves fucking remove these modes, and it's kind of bullshit, to be honest. But yeah. Um, I think that's all I've said about GOG. Um, I just don't like it. Honestly, I'd prefer Epic Games or fucking Steam over it, but yeah, honestly, um... I just really don't fuck with GOG games, guys. Um, I don't know how you guys feel about GOG games, but yeah, honestly, me, I don't really fuck with it. I just don't like it. Um, I prefer Humble Bundle, Steam, Epic, just I don't like GOG. So yeah, that marks it for the video, guys, and that's it. So yeah, guys, I just don't like GOG games. Um, like and subscribe, thanks.